Hi, my name is Nicole Baez, and today I will be using my dad as my model. Here is my note card, just listing the questions, and there's nothing here on the back. Okay, so anatomy differs from physiology by being the study of the different structures in the body, from the color to the shape to the size to the texture, whereas physiology is the study of how all of these structures and basically how the whole body functions together as a whole. The anatomical position is standing shoulder width apart, I guess with your feet just a little bit separated, with your palms forward, and um, just with your whole body facing forward. The anatomical directional terms, I will start off with proximal and distal. So proximal is closer to the origin, whereas distal is away from the origin. So his knee would be proximal to his foot. We're gonna go to superior and inferior. His head is superior to his foot, which is inferior. We have internal and external, also known as deep and superficial. His muscles are um, internal to are internal and deep as to his superficial and external skin. Then we have um, we have the parietal and visceral. So the parietal is the we say parietal when we're describing the cavities of the body because it pertains to the wall of the cavity, whereas visceral pertains to the um, organs inside of the cavity. Then we have medial and lateral. So medial is um, towards the center, whereas lateral is towards the outside. So that would be um, um, his hand is lateral to his heart, which is medial. Then we have anterior um, and posterior, which is also known as ventral and dorsal. And that is basically just towards the front and towards the back. So his nose is anterior to his heel, which is posterior. Then um, we're gonna talk about the regions of the body. So um, there is a plane in the middle of him separating the front of his body from the back, and this is the, um, the coronal and frontal plane. And that's just separating him this way from the front to the back. And then we have the, um, the coronal plane, which separates his right side from his left side. And um, from the middle, that's just the medial coronal plane. And then we have the transverse plane, which separates him horizontally from the top to the bottom. This information is important for clinical practice because it allows everyone to be on the same page when speaking of relative locations of the body. Thank you.